you know, humans get sick. We get colds, we get flus, we get diseases, and we die. And there are things that we can do to prevent it, and there are things that we do to make it worse. And for the most part, it's about ourselves to do this, right? About ourselves. I got to admit, I'm stupefied. I can't believe what is occurring. And I think there may be some people out there who are the same. You just can't believe it. Isn't it a bit strange that in all of the government literature and all of the supposed information regarding our safety that the immune system isn't really ever mentioned or something as simple as taking some vitamin D, how much it might help? So if people within the government infrastructure or within who, who is pushing forward this vaccination madness, we're there for your health. There'd be other things coming in, but the most important thing is our own ability of our own immune system to handle most disease and sickness. It's a fascinating, amazing uh, set of systems we have. I've heard recently we have five different immune systems. I mean, we're a hearty bunch considering everything that they're throwing at us. I, I just wonder, is there anyone else out there who is wondering where common sense went? Why do you give so much power to the people in buildings like this? Like, how does it happen? Like, what is, what is really behind the designs of the infrastructure that we're part of? And why do we support it? I mean, there, there are things in the background, like why does the crown own so much land in BC? Really, you know, you think some queen over in England and their family deserve to own most of BC after they uh, stole it from the First Nations people? Huh? Like, do you think that's a good idea? Really? People don't ask these questions in COVID madness land. I mean, the science is in real science. I mean, it's, it's, it's like a flu. You don't lock down a world for a flu. And so many people are so invested in the idea that this is the way it is because that's where they get their salaries from. Paid down from the top, from the parasitic government sucking all the taxes out of the people and then those people who are within the infrastructure they get to get their salaries and issue commands and and bring forth a reality that is getting worse and worse for us we don't need things getting worse and worse we need things getting better and better we need wise leaders that are making good decisions for the whole so that we can all benefit and that's what the media portrays. I was watching this news announcement where Bonnie Henry was, there was some people at a party and, and somebody had said something bad about Bonnie Henry, threatened her. And this was a big thing. And, you know, I don't know, 500 years ago, Bonnie Henry would be floating down the river. You know, you can't interfere with people's economics in the way that they're doing right now and get away with it. but But I guess you can. I mean, whether it's the fluoride of the water or we just sit here on the screen and watch it all happen and say, boom, 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 boom. That's it. I guess that's just the way it is. I guess these people are just making these decisions and uh, they're really good decisions, right? They're based upon a very important scientific fact. So I guess we'll just go along with it, right? I mean, aren't there any other Canadians who have some common sense, who don't want to vaccinate, who don't think the masks work, who don't think social distances work, who doesn't think that the lockdowns work? Like, when I read the comments on CTV, I, I, I just read brainwashed people going along with this normalization given to us by this corporate media. And then I read all the other medias independent and uh, scientific and uh, conspiracy theorists. And there's this huge amount of information that is so different from the corporate media. And so you've got these two streams, right? Corporate media, and you've got all the other media coming into you. 
And if you don't do research and you just watch TV and you're not sampling the other information stream, just go along with what these guys say. <laughs> but come on. How could one person have so much power that they could affect the health of every British Columbian in making decisions about our own body and who we are and what we are and how we get sick and how we don't get sick? She sounds so caring in her tone of voice and who she is. Would she lie? Would she be following orders from people who tell her what to do and she just goes along with it? Like the sign is on the wall. I, I, I just don't understand how people go along with it. I, it, it shuts me down, stupefies me. I don't feel like making any more videos. I mean, all this stuff was so obvious years ago, but now that it's super obvious, it's it's just, oh, fuck. You just don't want to deal with it. You know, maybe we should just be like Miss Plum and be in the sun and hang out in Mexico and not have a cure in the world and just live life. It's a lot better than just doing research on subjects that are depressing. I mean, the funny thing is I'm an inventor, basically by trade, I guess, and I invent communication devices, ways to help stimulate humans to communicate. But I, I get so upset about these political things and I, I can't believe the world the way it is. And so I make these videos like this, which nobody watches. And even if they do, they don't share. And... Uh, <laughs> And then I invent these communication devices that are amazing, but I just get irritated. So I don't bring them into the market because I, I just think the world's so screwed. Ah, I know that's a losing strategy, but hey, one must be honest, right? There's a few people who believe in uh, Captain Sweep and who are uh, ready to take the tools into the world, which is nice. You know, the, the irony is I have this table to synergizer and it synergizes six people together and it creates this magical container for people to clear their uh, disconnections and to answer a question and to uh, really feel good being around some other human beings. And it's tested, it works. I've got all the kicks out. I know exactly how to do it. I can do it every time, it works. But, I, but I, <laughs> I'm not synergized. <laughs> I'm just depressed. This whole COVID thing depresses me so much, watching the world turn into some place where I just can't imagine how the children are going to be in a few generations. I mean, are they going to be wearing like full bio waste suits and talking through transhumanist implants in their head walking around like zombies uh, because we didn't see it coming at this time. You know, nature has the answers and uh, we're killing nature. We're killing our home. And we're, we're, we're doing it in, in such a horrible way. And then all this news and business hides the fact that our species is insane and is going down this path of destruction and everyone's talking in different ways but it's the same group of people behind the scenes who are just making all the conflict and meanwhile back at the farm at Ferry Creek they're about to clear cut another uh, valley of old growth forest and uh, a lot of good people have been in the forest for about six months at least maybe longer protecting the forest from being clear cut but now they brought in the injunction and in Canada, that means that you can't win. You will be arrested if you stop them from clear cutting the last remaining old growth forest valley on Vancouver Island. You know, it's like Avatar, it's, it's, it's horrible. I'd been through it before and my heart was broken and now I'm watching a bit from the sidelines. Because I, I just, I don't know how to interact with those activists that are there. I don't. I don't know how to interact with you. I don't know how to interact with the world. I'm uh, attempting to bring some tools into the world that are going to help. But how do you 
do that as an inventor to turn into a business person when most of the time it's just because of irritation that I build things. So many ironies in life, eh? Anyway, what a great message of the day, eh? Could it get any more depressing?